Hi, so for this video we're looking at working with imported parts. So here we've got a um, SOLIDWORKS part, we can see the extension SLDPRT. We're going to go and open that using, um, it's an isometric template on there. It's got our background on there. That's going to go and translate into the SOLIDWORKS format. So once we've got that part in SOLIDWORKS, um, first thing to do is to go and save it. So I'm just going to go and save that into my pre-release folder. Um, assign a standard part number on that. You'll notice that we've got different bodies. We've got a little I next to it. So if we go to our inspect tab, you can see we've got an optimize command. So if we go into optimize, um, it's asking us to go and select the bodies that we want. So if we just do a fence select and then right click to accept, that will optimize. It'll take a little while for the first one. And it'll take a little bit less time with the others. So now we've got that, we can see that we've got our part, we've got a few um, a few little issues. You can see these are all construction bodies, so it means that mostly surfaces have got holes in them. So what we're going to do, we're going to work on these one by one. So as we, if we if we hover though, hover over these, we can see that we've got certain parts on there. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, because we've got eight nuts um, and eight studs on there, I'm going to go and figure out which ones we need. So I think we need to get rid of four to 17. So let's keep in one nut and one stud and just use the delete key to go and remove those. And then that body on there, if we hover over that, we can see uh, we can see what body that is. So if we go on there and I'm just going to do a right click and do a show only on there. So now we can see that we've got this part. We've obviously got a few things missing. So this is part of a part of what we're doing surfacing, fixing. So here, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do a, a very basic uh, option to go and to go and fix this. So I'm going to go and copy those faces underneath. We haven't got a plane, so we need to use a plane. So if we use our plane normal to curve, choose one of these vertical edges, and go and specify our position as 0.5, that's going to go and put it on the middle of that edge. We can then fence select. Um, we can see we've got all those features, so we can just go and mirror those um, in that plane. And that's going to go and mirror those to the other side. Let's just try that again. I think I, think I, cli I think I clicked something in between. Okay, and then we've got that, and if we escape, if we have a look at that, we can see there's actually an extra surface there that I don't think we need. So I'm just going to go and hover over that using a quick pick and see that we've actually got two of those. So I'm just going to go and use the delete key to go and remove one of those. So that's pretty good. Next, I'm going to go and just create a, a lofted surface, which we've got a blue surf in solid edge between these. So I'm going to choose blue surf command, select that edge and that edge, just left click on both. Then do next and finish that command and cancel out that command. Next, we can go and stitch this together. So if we choose our stitch command, if the options dialog box just comes up, come up, just click OK. We don't, we don't need to have a look at that. I'm just going to go and turn my reference plane off first, just to make sure that's tidy. And once we stitch, right click to accept and then finish. You'll see that we've now got that as a solid body. If we go over here, right click and choose toggle design construction. We've now got our first solid body on there. So I'm going to turn that off and turn on the next one. So let's just go and see if we can find the, the stud. Okay, so for this one, we've got we, we've got a little champ for there. I'm not worried about that. So for this one, I'm going to use bounded surface. This is going to create a surface patch on here. Um, so that option shouldn't be on for you. So if you just go and select that edge, that's going to go and create a bounded surface on there. We can then stitch that together. So we can choose our stitch command again, right click, accept that, finish. And if we do want to go and put a chamfer on there, we can go back to our home tab and go and choose the appropriate option. If we want to go and put a, uh, if we want to go and put a, put a, put a chamfer on there, we can do. So I don't think that was the right size. It's going to one mil. Okay, that looks pretty much the same. And then we can go and turn that body into a solid body, the same as the other one. So you can see we've now got our two design bodies. These are both separate design bodies at the moment. So if we turn those off and then go and turn on surface body three. 
So here you can see, um, reasonably simple this one. So for this one, I do a, a bounded surface on the bottom here. So let's just select, right click, accept, and then right click to finish. And then use the escape key to cancel out of there. I do a blue surf between a couple of these holes. Okay, and you can just right click to, to cancel once we've done that. And then we can go and mirror that. So pick on that new surface we've just selected. Select the, um, sorry, pattern. Blue circular pattern. We hover over one of these edges on here. So notice as we go over there, if, if, if it won't snap to the edge, hover over the top face, press F3 to lock, hover over that edge. That's going to go near the pattern, change the value to 8. Press the tab key, that will give you a nice preview before you finish it. Then we're happy with that. And then we can accept that. So now we can go into our stitch command, then select, right click to accept and finish. And we've got our next body all ready to go. Right click on there, choose that, pop it into construction. We can do all that later if we need to, but it's quite nice to kind of everything that's finished is in is in the is in the top on there. So next if we turn on the final one on here. So this one, um, I'm not too worried about having it kind of being hollow. Um, I know the weight from the data sheet potentially. So um, for this one, um, I'm actually going to go and simplify this quite a bit. So there's no delete faces in synchronous. So um, I'm just going to go and click on the faces that I want and go and delete them. So um, I'm not worried about having the holes in there because that's not going to show anything. This internal surface, I can just use the delete key on there. This hole, I can go and delete that. Then we've got some other surfaces on here that we can go and use to delete. If you do delete the wrong one, we've always got our go back, always got our control Z. So we can go back through any of those stages and go and remove those. So we can go and have a look through there, see what that looks like. Um, we've, we've also got our section by plane option. So if we press that, we can have a look, see if there's any surfaces. If we use the F key, that flips it. So I can clearly see that, okay, there's no extra surfaces on there and then escape to come back out of there. Now we're going to use surface in to blue surf between these two because I want I want the bore to be kept, to be kept. So I'm going to just produce a cylinder through the inside, and then just right click to accept, finish, and cancel. Right click a few times. Um, I can do a bounded surface on the top. So we put in pr pretty much them all together now, and we've got that one finished. But then this has got an extra little issue. So if we spin round onto this face, you can see some of these holes are missing on there. We can see those on there. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use a view cube and choose a front view. And I'm going to go and do a, a fence select on there and go and delete just all those sections. So we're just going to go on there and do a delete on there. So that's sorted that one out. Next, I'm going to go, uh, next I want to kind of take that entire section out. We could put a load of bounded surfaces in there, but we don't need to. So what we can do, we can do a contour curve. So when we do a contour curve, um, Okay, we've got different options. So I'm going to go and choose, uh, we can choose single or chain, it doesn't really matter what, what we're sketching on. We're going to go on that, accept. And then we're going to choose to start from an edge. So I'm going to choose this edge on here, that's my start point. And then we're going to go and change back to face. And this is going to go and create key points on the face. So we don't need a huge amount, just make sure that when we go back to the end, that we go and select that to go to the edge. If we do that wrong, we've also got this option where we can go and insert a point. Um, so I can go and decide to go and add an additional point on there. So if you do it wrong, just go and start again on that. So I'm just going to do that. So we're going to go on that, accept. We're going to choose edge first. Then we're going to change it to face. Select the next points on that. Sorry, I'll change it to face. And then back to edge. And make sure we click on that edge and then accept and finish. Once we've done that, we can use our trim command. We can choose our surface on there. So choose single on there, accept. Choose our line that we've just drawn as our cut, accept, and then we can go and select just that internal face. So we're going to go and cut that face out and then finish, cancel that on there. 
And now we can just use a bounded surface on there. So I'm going to go and um, turn off my curves here just so we can't see the curve. And then I can choose that element and that element. Because we selected to the edge, it's kind of split that edge up for us. And then we can accept and finish there. So now we've got a overall um, fully sealed item. If we if we do stitch and we don't get it, um, we can use a little tool under the drop down. What we can do on here is show non-stitched edges. So if I go over there and vent select everything, that's going to show all the elements that aren't stitched together. So you can see that's our cylinder, our face, and there's no no other options on there. Sometimes you might end up with a tiny little tiny, tiny little triangle or something on there. So once we've done that, we can use our stitch command, vent select and accept. We've got our body, everything's all merged together nicely on there. And then I'm going to go and create our design bodies. So we need to go and pattern this. So I'm going to go back to my home tab for my pattern, go and select those items, choose our circular pattern command, go and drag our, um, go and hover over an edge and select that. We've then got our pattern, we can then accept. We can then show the last design body. And we've got our part sorted now. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into ordered on there. This will allow us to go and union this together with a single part, but still be able to edit it as external components on there. Okay, so we've still done it in two steps, but now we've got a single body and we can go and use our part painter and go and create this, whatever colour we want this to be, be on here. So if we go and do body steel, that's going to have everything ready and we're now ready to go on there. And if we need to go and make any specific changes, we can add raised faces or anything on there, we can go and do that in order and we've still got our synchronous editing mode, but then we've got our ordered on there. Bit of best of both worlds. Thank you.